Welcome to Accounting in Focus. We're back! In this video, I want to explain how the five types of accounts become your statements and how the three statements are um, linked together. Okay, so um, remember the five types of accounts are assets, liability, equity, revenue, and expense. Okay, now let's talk about how those become our statements. So the first statement that we do is the income statement. The income statement tells us how much income is left over at the end of the period. So you pick, do I want to look at it for a month, for a quarter, for a year, and how much is left over, okay? Or is there a deficit, right? Do I have a loss, okay? So my income statement, I start with my revenue, okay? And I'm going to subtract my expenses. Okay, so I'm gonna actually put brackets around expense. Okay, we do that in accounting to show that this is um, something that we subtract, okay? Or it's something that's negative. So revenue minus expenses, that gives me, and I'm just gonna put this label here, net income or loss, okay? Net income or loss. So if, if there's more revenue than expenses, I have a profit, I have net income. And if there are more expenses than revenue, then I have a loss and the number is negative. Okay, that's all there is to the income statement. It's very, very easy. Now, there might be a lot of accounts listed, but essentially at its core, revenue minus expenses is my income statement. Okay, so now what's next? Okay, so my next is my statement of retained earnings. Okay, that's number two. Um, now with this, I'm going to kind of make some label boxes here. So I'm going to make a couple extra boxes, okay? Because the thing is, not everything is going to transfer directly from, you know, directly nice and clean, okay? So I'm gonna start with my beginning balance in my retained earnings account. And make that a little bit bigger. Okay, so I'm gonna start with that. And then I'm gonna to add to that my net income. Okay, so I'm going to copy this box and I'm gonna paste it over here. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my net income or my net loss from my income statement. Okay, so let's put in, uh, let's see, uh, let's put in an arrow, okay? And we're gonna draw an arrow from here to there, okay? Just to kind of show that, hey, this number is coming from, from over there, okay? So I need to do my income statement first because I need my net income from my income statement for my statement of retained earnings, okay? Then I am going to subtract any dividends that we paid. And I'm gonna put this in brackets to show that we're gonna subtract that. We're gonna put that in parentheses, okay? So my beginning balance plus my net income or I subtract a loss if I have a loss minus any dividends we paid, that gives me my ending balance in retained earnings. Okay, ending balance and retained earnings. Okay, so beginning balance plus or minus net income, and I'm gonna put equals so that you know that that's the, what we're calculating. I'm gonna do the same thing over here also. Okay, equals my ending balance and retained earnings. So now my ending balance and retained earnings, I'm going to need this. This is actually gonna end up feeding into my uh, part of my balance sheet, okay? Now the balance sheet, um, and I'm actually gonna move the balance sheet down here because I think it's it's kind of better presented when you see it sideways. My balance sheet is going to be 
my assets and my assets need to equal my liabilities and my equity. Okay, so I'm going to just copy another box here. Let's see if I hit control V. Yeah, it's not the box I want. That's okay. Let me just put in, let's see. Oh, I'll use that. That'll be good. Oh, how cool is that? Okay, so assets equal liabilities plus equity. This is great. We're going to insert another shape. It's very cool what you find in these. Okay. So we'll put a plus sign in here. Awesome. So let's make room for that. Liabilities plus equity. Okay. Assets equal liability plus equity. Okay. That's my balance sheet. This is my accounting equation. Right. So we talk about the accounting equation um, all the time. Assets equal liability plus equity. This is an incredibly important concept in accounting. The accounting equation. Because all of accounting is based off of this and keeping this in balance. Okay, but you notice that as part of my equity, okay, part of my updated equity balance is going to be from my retained earnings, okay? So part of my equity here is from my retained earnings calculation that I had to do in the statement of retained earnings. So if you notice, all of these statements are interrelated, okay? I have to do them in this order. I have to do the income statement first, then the statement of retained earnings, and then the balance sheet, okay? I have to do them this way, okay? And remember, you're gonna have lots of accounts, right? This is a very simplified version, but if you look at, you know, you can pull up the statements of any publicly traded company. Pick, you know, pick whatever publicly traded company you want. It's going to have an income statement, a statement of retained earnings, and a balance sheet, okay? Now, there is a fourth statement Okay, that you would do, and let's copy this and we'll paste it over here. Okay, there is a fourth statement, and the fourth statement is called cash flow. Okay, and this is something that you generally do uh, later on in the semester because it is a more complicated statement. This, the purpose of the statement of cash flow is to basically tell you if your cash balance has gone up or gone down over the course of the year and why, okay? Um, and this is the fourth statement because you need information from the income statement and information from the balance sheet in order to be able to do the statement of cash flow, okay? So here's your income statement, your statement of retained earnings, your balance sheet, and then you would do cash flow. But these, these three, are the three that I really want you to focus on right now, okay? Because if you understand how these five types of accounts, asset, liability, equity, revenue, and expense, come together to make these statements, the rest of accounting is not hard at all. I hope this made sense. Let me know if you have any questions. Take care.